Hey y'all, it's High Priestess Creole Queen. It's the Witch and Owl and I'm feeling witchy. And this is um, part four of my story time on why marriage is a curse unto the woman. Okay, so let's get back into it. So as I was saying previously in my other videos that right now we are going through a a great war it's a biological war it's a chemical war it's chemical warfare that's happening it's genetic manipulation genetic mutation that's happening and the woman betrays herself when she when she lives in delusion when she ignores her intuition and if her psyche is being altered with a virus if she's um, if she doesn't have the power over her choices her decision making and she ignores her conscience she hates herself for being weak for allowing him to have power over her but what she doesn't understand is why she can't make a different choice. Why the odds are against her. That's because he is infecting you with a virus. He's injecting you with his semen that carries a virus. A virus that is chemically altering your psyche. Stop sleeping with these men. They are your sons. And it's not about them bowing down to us and becoming feminine or wiping them all off the face of the earth, which we know that if we stop reproducing with them, you know, they will have no other choice, you know, but to be wiped off the face of the earth. We will not be having children for them. We would be having our own clones of ourselves. That's what we would be having. Okay? So, stop sleeping with them. But our sons are already here. They're already here. But I really believe and I really think that we should not be with them or deal with them romantically because they are dangerous. The masculine is dangerous to us. They're dangerous to all women. Okay? A majority of them are. I'm not saying all, but I'm saying a majority. Okay? He is more of a beast than she is. Okay? He's an animal. The male is an animal. And this is her story. Women need to know her story. Not his story. So the key is all about getting divine balance between divine masculine and divine feminine. But there is no balance and there will never be balance because they don't want balance. They want dominion. So we have to be separate. We are responsible to teach our sons to operate in their healthy masculine energy. So we know who we are. We know who we are. We know our suffering. Okay? And this doesn't apply to all women. If you're not suffering, if it, you know, it really doesn't apply to you. It doesn't apply to you if you um if you like the treatment that you've been getting and you feel blessed and you feel that all men are have been a blessing to your life, you know, you just keep it moving. Keep it moving. But the ones who are triggered are the ones who really 
they resonate with it. There's a truth there. That's the only way that they would get triggered. The only reason why you would have to say something or try to defend something is because you resonate with it deep down inside. There's a truth right there. Okay? So the only way that men can save themselves is to make the choice to reach that 90%. Embrace your feminine energy. Embrace your feminine. Okay? Because we all have masculine and feminine. You have to embrace your feminine. Okay? Stop hating women and children. Stop abusing them. And also you need to rise above your lower nature. And we know that a majority of men won't make this choice because they like being jealous breeders and bitter baby daddies. They like breeding. They love sex. They can't function without it. So we know that we are the chosen ones. We know we bring the value. Okay, we are the value. We know our value. And we see the problems on this planet. And we know what the problem is. And we know how it happened. And why it happened. And we understand why things are so fucked up now. We also know how to fix the problem. So now let's talk about solutions to the problems. Okay? How should we be moving forward how should we be living and operating now that we have this information? Are you suffering from generational curses? Are you suffering in your marriage? Are you struggling in all of your relationships with men? Are you angry? Are you bitter? Are you struggling financially? Are you suffering with health issues like anxiety, depression, high blood pressure, stroke, heart attack, sexually transmitted diseases? relationship PTSD as a woman do you feel alone do you feel ignored like you you're doing this all by yourself you don't feel supported by your masculine counterpart or just the masculine in general you know what I'm saying do you feel like men hate and despise women like you you know the kind of women that has a brain has opinions do you feel rejected by men that is because the great mother feels like that you know, you feel what she feels. She feels abandoned. She feels betrayed. She feels replaced, overshadowed, and degraded by her masculine counterpart. So there are universal and natural laws and principles that we must adhere to and we must heal ourselves, which means we can't live like everybody else. We can't do things like everybody else. We can't do what everybody else do. You have to live in a way that is pleasing to the great mother live like you care about yourself live like you care about the earth this planet sometimes you have to separate yourself from things from from things from people that are not serving you okay anything that is not serving you anything or anyone that is not serving you also from men completely sometimes you got to separate yourself from men completely in order to truly get the healing that you need okay so the first step is restoration of honoring mother goddess or mother creatrix. Honor thy mother in all things, not just on Mother's Day. Worship the goddess. Love thyself. Worship thyself. Love thy reflection. Empower and protect women and children, especially women and children of color. Protect and provide for your mother. Do not worship masculine gods. Worshiping masculine gods is, is, no, that's not good. Okay? They cannot remove these curses from you. They can only make things, they might make things a little easier or they might make it harder depending on what, what it is. But worship the mother. Okay? Trust your intuition. And you have to start decentering men. You know, stop betraying yourself. Stop sleeping with these men and, you know, you have to protect yourself. And get back to the ancient practices of our foremothers, our ancient matriarchs. And you have to learn to fight. Learn to fight. Learn to use a gun. 